hello guys welcome to yj digital world on today's video i'll be putting you through on how to create an event flyer like the one i have on my screen i remain your humble host agu joseph in doing this i'll be making use of photoshop 2020 please if you are new to this channel do well to subscribe to the channel turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever i upload new content don't forget to give this video a like if you have any comments and leave your comment in the this comment section do well to follow me on my social at yj digital world so let's get into it first of all i have to create a workspace so the name of this project will call pd night okay unit of measurement each is four four inches of width and height Resolution 300, color mode RGB, leave other settings the way they are. So you click on create. So, in order to achieve this project, I will be bringing in other elements I'll be using to design this, such as images. So, let me drag in the images to create my background. So, after placing my image, I have to blow it. For me to do that, I'll come to filter here. All over to blog gallery click on view filter my filter i'll set it on 17 percent after that i click on ok so after doing that i have to add curve so after adding the block i have to add curve to add more depth to this i'll come to adjustment panel here click on curves my curve panel is made up of three handles this part is called the highlight the middle are called the mid tones at the bottom here is called the shadows so i need to add more of shadows okay after adding that the next thing on this project is to add a little bit of a uh, fill color for me to do that here is the hex code i'll come here and copy it come over here add a solid fill and paste in the color the hex code here okay change the blending mode to screen okay this is before and this after so after doing that the next step i'll be taking is adding a little bit of curve to this to darken it a little so i'll come to my adjustment panel click on curves and add a little bit of shadow to this after that i'll close this so i'll select the four layers then I'll group it. I'll click on the group icon here to group it. I'll call this BG, which stands for my background. So after placing this, the next element I'll be placing is called my my speaker. So I'll drag it in to my Photoshop workspace and place it around somewhere here. So I'll click OK. I'll make a duplicate of this. Ctrl J to make duplicate. Ctrl T to transform. Right click and flip horizontally. Left click, hold shift and move it horizontally. So you place it the way you want it. OK. I think it's OK this way. I'll check. So after doing that, next thing I'll be doing is to add motion blur to each and to each of the speakers. So I come to filter here, come to blur all the way to motion blur. So my blur strength will be 35% of pixels, 35 pixels. So all I have to do is to hold alt on my keyboard and left click and drag to the other layer where I have the other speaker I have applied the same effect to it so I can group them and call them speaker so after doing that I have to add a gradient to this project to give to make all elements blending properly so for me to do this I come to adjustment panel here gradient map Click on a gradient map here, scroll down. I've already 
created the gradient I'll be using for this project. So on the left here we have black, this is the hex code. Why on the highlight here, this is the hex code for for the colors. So click OK, click OK, and close the panel. So I'll change my blending mode here to pin light. So after doing that, I'll have to bring in the next image which is the model image i'll drag it into my photoshop workspace and place it here double click to check and drag it and place it over here okay can hit ctrl t to reduce the size okay after that i click on okay so after placing the image, I need to create a little bit of depth and highlights in on the model. So one of the ways I do create depth is by duplicating the layer of the model. Come to filter here, scroll over to other and all the way to high pass. So I reduce my radius till when I see less of the skin color but more of the skin tones. So I think this is okay. So I'll click on OK. So after that, I'll change the blending mode to hard light. Okay, this is before and this is after. So after doing that, I can come here, select this first layer. We okay, have my model. Click on my adjustment panel. Click on hue. Click mouse my hue. Then reduce the saturation a little bit. After reducing the saturation, I can come over to my adjustment panel again click on curve to add more highlight to this project so i can add a little bit of light and a little bit of dark that is shadows you can see I add more of highlight and add a little bit of shadow so depending on how you want it to be on your project so after doing that i check so i'll select the layers together and group them and call them model so after that the next thing we'll be doing is placing of text so let me place the first set of text here scroll over here copy this text start copying the text come back to my photoshop for you to give your text a well structured pattern i have to create a guide so that whenever i place text they, they look perfectly fitted on the design project. So I come to view here, scroll over to layout, new layout. So these are the parameters I use for my guide. So I click on OK. Pick my text tool to place your to place your text. You left click and paste it in. So I will change the font to Montserrat. OK, regular precisely. Come over to my character panel and reduce the size, the size of the text. Okay, come here, increase tracking a little, still reduce the size to let me see. Okay, so I can come over here again and increase this by changing the type under the same font so i'll increase this selected text to something about semi bold click on check so i'll just come over here and adjust the position okay come over here again increase the trackings so after doing this i will have to bring in the next text which is the theme of the event okay i've already worked on it i've already created it and converted it to a text so on the resource file in the description in the video description please check out the raw file for the theme of the event, I will attach a link to it so you can access it and edit it yourself. 
I had to do that in order to reduce how lengthy the video will be. So I'll check, come over here, still increase the size a little bit this way. Check, still increase the tracking a little. I think it's okay this way. So let me reposition this a little. So after doing this, let me bring in the next set of text. So after placing the team, let me drag in the next set of text. So I'll just be placing the text all over. So I'll come to my character panel, return the tracking to zero back to zero increase the font size okay come over here increase this to extra bold then why this other set of text i reduce them to medium i'll check reduce the leadings a little Notice the text we a little bit far away from each other. So all I have to do is to transform and increase the size a little and place them where they ought to be. Okay. So after doing that, I make a duplicate of this holding alt left click and drag holding shift to drag horizontally. Come to my notepad, bring in the next set of text, copy, sorry, copy this first set of text, come over here, pick your text tool and paste it in here, copy this set of text, come over here, highlight this set of text, so I'll just come in here and paste it in, I'll check. So that's for that. The location icon into my workspace. You pick my rectangular marquee tool to make a selection of what I need. Hit Ctrl J to make a duplicate and delete this. Double click on the selected icon and change the fill color to white right click on it and convert it to a smart object ctrl t to transform and resize ctrl plus to zoom in so i can then drag it to somewhere around here hit enter ctrl minus so the next phase of this design is we are putting the reservation details. Come over here to the end and copy the text. Pick my text to and paste it in here. Okay. Highlight the whole text. Change it to medium. Reduce the size. Increase the tracking a little bit. Increase the size. Okay. After doing that, I'll come here, select only the phone number here, and change the type to a little bit bolder type. The shadow should be okay. Click on check. Click the move to and reposition it. So I'll come here, increase the size. I'll check okay so after doing that if you notice the reservation text some of them are no more visible on this project 
So one of the way to create uh, to make text visible is to create contrast. So I have to create contrast along this bottom region. So I'll click on this model icon precisely. I'll add a max, pick my gradient on my two panel here. So all I have to do is to come here, change it to the black and white. Okay. After that, I'll come over here, left click and drag. You can see. Ctrl Z. Let me do it again. So you can see how it looks. Okay, so I'll come over here again, make some little adjustments, pick my move to adjust the position of this design is to bring in my drinking IQ image. Okay, pick my rectangular marquee to, to make this selection. Hit Ctrl J to make the duplicate and delete the original layer. Right click on the new layer and convert it to a smart object. So I'll just come to those texts that are clustered and select them and, and increase the tracking. Okay, to allow room for the text to breathe. Likewise, my event here. I'll come here and increase this to about, let me see this. Okay, pick my text tool here, select this set of text and increase their tracking separately. I'll check. So, likewise, this can come here and adjust their tracking. This is the end product of the tutorial so guys if you do enjoy this video do well to give this video a like and if you do enjoy my content do well to subscribe to the channel turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever i upload new content and if you have any question or comment you can leave your comment in the comment section you can also follow me on my socials on at yj digital world thank you guys for watching